Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to use Excel in a more efficient way. If you are already using Excel, I am sure you would be using a lot of keyboard shortcuts. If not, you must use keyboard shortcuts because that saves time and helps you gain a lot of efficiency. So in this video, I will show you 106 Excel shortcuts along with examples in most of the cases so that you can use them and gain efficiency. So guys, welcome back to the fourth section. Here I will show you the shortcuts using the shift and the function keys. So coming to the 51st shortcut, uh, shift plus F1. Well, according to me, it doesn't do anything, but some people say it does something I've not been able to understand. If you know what it does, please help me by putting the details in the comment section so that probably I can change the video or maybe I can make another video on it. And at the same time, help many other people understand this. Shift plus F2 it will basically edit cell comment which means if I have a comment here let me use the mouse to show you insert comment <clears throat> okay well it seems I'll use a lot of shortcuts I forgot how <laughs> where the comment is anyways let's say this is my comment and I could go back so if I want to edit go and edit this comment what I need to do is go and press shift and f2 here I can go and do uh, edit this comment Paste function into formula. If I want to paste a function into the formula, shift F3 is the one I'll show you in a different video for this. Uh, shift F4 and shift F5 is something which is basically similar to find and find next, which we would have done earlier. That means if I press, press control F here in this window, I say shift and I say find next. So it will uh, find shift in the cell which is after my current position i say find next again find next again and so on so instead of that if i just say shift and f4 it will keep doing the same thing without me going into that window what it will find next is what you last typed in the find box so f4 f5 done previous pane shift and f6 as i mentioned in my earlier section what a pane is so when I press shift and F6, I go to the previous pane, which is here, the commands pane. Shift F8. This is something which very few people use on the keyboard and most of the people use using the mouse. So let me go to my demo sheet and show you what I basically mean in this. If I want to select two ranges, which is the letters as well as the numbers, what I will do is I will select the first range. I will then press control. Then I go to the next range. I can do this using the keyboard as well. So I go here, I select the first range using shift and the down arrow key. I say shift F8. Now I go to the next range which I want to select. I uh, again use the shift and the down arrow key and I again use shift and F8. Now if you see all the cells are selected, all the ranges are selected without me using the mouse. So that's the power of shift plus F8. Shift plus F9 is basically used to calculate the active worksheet. Yes, worksheet, not the workbook. I've already showed you in my previous section how you can go and you can calculate the entire workbook in case the calculation has been set to manual. The next is Shift plus F10, Display Context Menu. This is one of the things which I really liked when I first found out because in the keyboard I was using at that time did not have the right click button which is normally available in most of the keyboards today. So if I want to go and get this menu, this is called the context menu. How can I do that? I can just use shift and F10 and it will show me this menu. Shift plus F11, new worksheet. Let me go in my demo sheet. Here, if I'm working on the sheet one and I want to uh, add another workbook or another worksheet, I'll one option is using the mouse. I go here, click right and I say insert. The next is I can just use shift and F11 sheet two, sheet three, and so on. Let me just delete these. I normally like to do my housekeeping at the same time. Shift F12. If you remember in my last section, I told you F12 is basically save as. Shift plus F12 is similar to control S. What we do is just save. Well guys, this was the fourth section where I told you how to use the shortcuts using shift and the function keys. I'll tell you more in the next section. So guys, Thanks a lot to watch the entire video if you have been here till now. And as I mentioned earlier, I'll really be motivated if you click subscribe and hit the bell icon 
because that way you'll get to know all the future videos and share it with your friends and family on your Instagram, Facebook or whatever platform you are using, maybe your WhatsApp as a link because that will help me stay motivated and post more videos for you. Also, I like to tell you I've already created a couple of videos and posted on my channel. My channel is Solve Tech Issues where I try to uh, solve all the issues which I get to know from my friends and families or otherwise people come and tell me. Uh, I try to solve them. I've already posted videos there on how you can use your Microsoft Office in that to the latest version which is Office 365 in a free and legal way. Yes, you heard me right. Free and legal version of Office 365. But the only thing is it's the web version. I've already made a video on how you can use the Office 365 on your mobile phone, whether it is your iPhone or your Android device. I have made another video where I have showed you if you are using Office 365 app on your mobile device, how you can use that to use features like capturing the notes directly from the whiteboard if you are in a presentation or in a classroom and a couple of more videos which are already lined up. So guys, once again, I'll really like and I'll really appreciate if you can hit the subscribe, the bell icon, the like and share it with your friends and family. Thanks a lot for being with me till now and I hope the Excel shortcuts have now been solved.